Welcome to another tick video you didn't know you needed. Today we'll be looking at the RTX 4090 Founders Edition. I was lucky enough to get one at Best Buy on their second drop, so we're just gonna do a quick unboxing here. Take a look at a few games that I haven't seen compared too much between my old RTX 3090 FE and this new one. And uh, that's about it, so I hope you enjoy it. Now let's take a look at the uh, adapter to see how well it fits in my Fantix P500A case. And it's a pretty big case, so it does fit pretty well. It does hit the glass though, but pretty far out, I think past the uh, 1.3, inches or so and I've been using it pretty heavily for the past week or two and so far nothing has melted and there have been no fires so so far so good.
So with about two weeks playing with the RTX 4090, it is a very impressive leap above the 3090. I've been playing a lot of Plague Tale Requiem, and I get about 120 to 140 FPS most of the time at 4K Ultra DLSS Auto. No frame generation. It's amazing how fast the PC has outpaced this generation of consoles. I remember when the Xbox 360 was released, and it was faster than an NVIDIA 7800 GTX. Oh, how times have changed. I'm now playing a game at triple digit frame rates at 4K, though granted with DLSS versus current gen consoles struggling to hold 30 frames per second at 1440p. Don't get me wrong, I have an Xbox Series X and a PS5, and I'd definitely be playing God of War Ragnarok in a few days for sure, but man, is a great time to be a PC gamer. Sure, it's pricey, but at least it doesn't cost an entire kidney. By my calculations, it only costs 0 0.0061 of a kidney. Well, that about wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed this short look at the RTX 4090. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And remember, steady. Don't fight the chair. Take your time. Watch your gun sight. Lead your targets. And above all, relax.